What's going on, everybody? This is the Baltimore Beat, and I'm your host, Austin Medina. The Ravens beat up on the Browns on Thursday night, 28-7, and not many were surprised being that Cleveland is still winless. However, when you, when you play games in the division, there can always be upsets. The Browns solidified how bad they are when they needed a timeout before the first play of the game. The Ravens looked good all around for the most part. The defense allowed less than 140 yards, they also had two interceptions and four sacks. The Browns just don't have a general to compete with top-level defenses. Flacco and the offense started slow, but got hot in the last three quarters, as Joe threw three touchdowns, including this one to Darren Waller for a four-yard score. The receiving core, which is finally healthy, had a solid performance all around. Mike Wallace grabbed four catches for 59 yards, and every time he gets the ball in his hands, a big play could be made. And the veteran Steve Smith Sr., hauled in five catches for 60 yards with this 12-yard touchdown, which gave the Ravens a comfortable lead. The win had huge implications within the AFC North, with the Steelers also losing to the Cowboys and the Bengals on a tough road, road game tonight against the Giants. The Ravens like to be in good shape. Next up for the Ravens are the Cowboys, who are, who are an outstanding 8-1. Led under rookie quarterback Dak Prescott, the boys are clicking on all cylinders. Tony Romo will be officially active for this game, though Jerry Jones has already announced he'll be backing up Dak, and I like the move. Rookie running back Zeke Elliott has been unbelievable in the first year in the league. Elliott's considered in the MVP race along with the Rookie of the Year, and he's on pace to beat Eric Dixon's single-season rushing record. The two rookies definitely benefit from the veteran leaders on the team, such as Des Bryant and Jason Witten, yet they also had the best offensive line in front of them. This is going to be a tough test for Baltimore, yet the game will be decided at the line of scrimmage. The Ravens have been solid at stopping the run game, which is undoubtedly the Cowboys' strength. Whoever wins there should come out with the victory. I predict that the Ravens will come out and win this game 23-20. I see the boys getting rattled by a physical Ravens defense. I think Baltimore will get a defensive score and rely on their run game to lead them to a win. The Cowboys' defense is average at best, and if their offense has struggles, it's going to be a tough game for them to win. The Cowboys couldn't afford a loss, while the Ravens are trying to gain a bigger division lead. Both teams have beat the Steelers, so the matchup seems to be an even one. Join me next week as I recap the game against Dallas and preview the upcoming game against the Bengals. And until next time, I'm Austin Medina. This is the Baltimore Beat, brought to you by who else but Greycom.tv.